Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will talk about the career switch. If you are a salesman or if you are in a non-technical background and you want to become a data analyst or data scientist, then this video is for you. In this video, I will talk about is there a scope of career switch? Should you switch to data analyst roles? Because right now it is trending, everyone wants to become a data analyst, uh, salaries are skyrocketing and people are really fascinated with these kind of jobs. So it is not important for you to jump into all these kind of profiles just because these are trending. For you, it is important to understand what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses. Accordingly, you should make plans and you should take actions. Right, so I will talk about all the skill sets required to become a data analyst in this particular video. Also, I will give you the roadmap in the upcoming videos how to achieve that if you are really interested. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, I should walk you through data analyst life cycle. What are the steps that he follows in day in day out? First is data discovery, right? So what is data discovery? you should understand the domain you are in for example you are in insurance sector so you should understand how insurance sector works if you are in fmcg for example fast moving consumer goods so you should know how what kind of kpis are to be tracked what kind of data can flow from different from sources and how to understand that second is gathering resources so what are the resources that you can or you require maybe in terms of data conditioning or maybe data capturing. So all the resources that are required, you should, you know, stick with that particular in this step. Second is data preparation. So in this, it is important once you have the raw data, you have to clean the data, slice and dice the data. You, you use ETL tools for that. ETL is extract, transform, load. So this is very important if you are working in data analyst role, you should understand because mostly 60 to 70 percent of your work will happen over here in data preparation because you get the raw data. It can be in lakhs of records. You have to clean the data as per the requirement. So data selection means, for example, if you have to work with only 20 lakh records instead of 40 lakhs. So why to analyze 40 lakhs when you can analyze 20 lakhs records, right? So it is important to understand all those integrancies. Third step is model planning. So what is model planning? So you have to select variables, methods, techniques, which kind of techniques you will be using to prepare the model. Then comes model building. So whatever the model that you are preparing, so how you are building and how you are executing that particular model. So that is also very important. Then it comes to communication results. In this, what is the outcome of that particular model? So is it successful or is it failure? What are the key findings and you have to summarize later on. So once you have prepared the model and you have uh, you have uh, run through the particular model, what is the outcome? Is it successful or failure? You should define that in this particular step. So once this is done, then you have to operationalize. So what do you mean by operationalize? You have to prepare final report. You have to brief that and discuss with the stakeholders and you have to document that particular model as well. So these are the steps which you have to follow. It can vary. For example, once you are in discovery step, you can go to data preparation and again you can go back to data discovery. So it is not like you have to follow each and every step one by one. After discovery, you can go directly to model planning as well if the data is already cleaned. Right. So this can vary. But in general, these are the six steps that one should follow. All right. So what is the skill set that is required? by a data analyst or maybe data scientist. So first I'll talk about data analyst. What are the skill set required? So first, uh, what are the mandatory skill set? That is basics of mathematics. So if you are looking to become a data analyst, you should know mathematics. If you have worked in 10th and 11th and 12th, basic mathematics like probability, all those kind of things, this is very important. Then Microsoft Excel. Each one of you must have worked on Excel. If you are in a professional career, everyone works on Excel. 
but it depends on the exposure that you are getting so it is very important if you are in any kind of position work on excel 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 it is very important it builds you to move ahead then coming to visualization techniques like microsoft power bi or tableau so it is important to learn one particular data visualization tool it can be power bi or tableau or maybe click sense but you should know one particular visualization technique then coming to sql sql is one of the most important tool or you can say querying because sql uh, is important because most of the time will take place in data cleaning gathering the data capturing or maybe selecting the data from the database so sql is very important right and then problem solving so problem solving because if you have that particular mindset then even if you don't have uh, the knowledge of syntax or languages still you can at least build a framework and then apply a syntax from the go you can google the syntax right but if you don't if you're not able to build the logic then there is of no use if you even if you have the knowledge of syntax right so it is very important that you are a problem solver now coming to good to have so now we understood what are the mandatory thing if you don't have these skill sets then you can't become a data analyst right so this is very very important now good to have if you want to proceed further and you want to become a senior data analyst and you want to make a career in in this then you want to understand the advanced analytics advanced mathematics yeah so in this it comes probability statistics linear algebra these are very important concepts right and then we come to python or r python is used to you know uh, predict the models you can prepare so many things clean the data it is very very important language then coming to communication and presentation skills so if you are preparing the model you have done all kind of analysis you have to communicate those results to the stakeholders or the seniors right you have to present them so these kind of skills are really important so that you are in the limelight even if you have created the reports and all but someone else is providing those kind of outcomes to the stakeholders then your credibility is gone so it is important to communicate and present yourself then come coming to domain knowledge domain knowledge is very important if you are stuck with one particular sector then you can become a sme subject matter expert right if for example if you are in fmcg domain and you have huge knowledge of how fmcg framework is how fast moving consumer goods market works how many sqs are there so many things are there so if you have that particular domain knowledge then you can easily apply in analytics and you can be a successful person in that particular job profile all right so how can you make a shift now you know the skill set required what is required to make this particular shift first of all learning the languages and tools so as i discussed learning excel power bi sql python these are very important languages and without this you can't become data analytics person right so how to do this once you have learned you have to practice practice is the key practice is the key even if you just grasp and all the languages you have learned but you don't practice then you can't become a data analytics person right so it is very important to practice working on various projects so once you have learned or attained the knowledge of excel power bi sql now you should work on real time projects or maybe some stand alone projects where you can you know utilize whatever you have learned apply those in those particular projects that will give you confidence that will also give your resume a boost that resume will be seen by so many people and they can evaluate you on the basis of projects this is very important getting a mentor from data analytics field so if you have a mentor who knows all these things who have gone through all these things all these stages he or she can guide you very well what are the challenges or what are the things that you should focus on so getting a mentor is very important right creating your own portfolio once you learn so many things like excel power bi sql 
Now create your own portfolio. Maybe create your own website or blog where you can write all those things, whatever you have learned. So that once you are showing your resume to the recruiter, he or she can see whatever you have done in the past. For example, you are new to data analyst roles, right? But how to justify whatever you have learned? Maybe you are switching from being a sales manager to data analytics manager, right? So how you will justify that you know data analytics? Right. So for that particular thing, you have to create your own portfolio. Maybe you can just post uh, different, different technical posts on LinkedIn or maybe you can create your blog or you can uh, work on so many projects and create that particular thing in resume. Right. So these are important just to show visibility is very important. Finally, practice. As I discussed in step two, practice is the key. Practice, practice, practice. So practicing is very, very important with patience you can achieve anything. If you have basic understanding of Excel, practice more. If you learn advanced level Excel, then again practice more. You can't be 100% in any particular tool. If you say that I know Excel, you are wrong. Even if you have worked on Excel for past 10 years, you can't learn Excel 100%. You have to learn every day. All right, so these are the important steps. You follow this and you can make a shift, right? So finally, okay, you can make a shift, but should you make a shift? For example, you are in a sales department and you are working fine, right? Maybe you are earning, let's say 50,000 in a month and uh, maybe you are happy with whatever you're doing. Expenses are, let's say 15,000 in a month. So overall you are saving 35,000 in a month. So should you make a shift? Is it risky or... Uh, do you feel it's a gamble once you are in data analytics role and maybe after that you feel that you are not suitable in that particular role, right? So what is there, how to, you know, decide if you should make a shift or not? So first of all, if you feel that answer is yes, how the answer is yes, if you are passionate about data. So if you are passionate about data, then you should go ahead. If you are good in mathematics, right? If you are a problem solver, you are ready to study new technologies even after 10 years of work. X. So for example, you are 30 right now and after 10 years for, at the age of 40, there is some new technology and you have to learn. Can you learn? So do you think you have this capability of learning things? If you are curious to know different, different things. So all these things are really important, right? So, so you don't know coding, that is fine, but are you ready to learn? So for example, you don't know Python, but are you ready to learn Python? If the answer is yes, if the answer is yes to all these problems, all these statements, then you should make a shift to data analytics role. Because see, learning things are not tough. I mean, if you say how tough is Python? I will say Python is easy. You can learn in 15, 20 days, but the real journey starts after 15, 20 days. Once you have the basics of Python, how you implement, what are the logics that you can apply, how you can think critically, right? How you can apply mathematics in uh, statistical models. That is important, right? So you should understand, maybe you can work on uh, various videos you can watch my uh, past videos on excel power bi you will understand what kind of things we can work on if you feel these are very interesting things you should definitely think about data analytics roles right and the correct no is like definite no that you should not make a shift if you hate mathematics so if you feel mathematics is your weakness if you don't like mathematics then please skip and never think about data analytics roles because you might get a data analytics role right now but you won't be successful in the longer run second is you are only shifting because data analytics is trending you are thinking today it is very trending it is catchy everyone is getting so good salaries i should switch my career this is a wrong approach you think data analytics will give you better salary again you're wrong see my conception is whatever you do good you should stay stay with that particular field because salaries are good all across 
right P there are people who are getting 50 lakhs in a year in sales there are people who are getting 1 lakh only in a year in data analytics right so it's not like everyone in data analytics will get better salaries so you should stick to what you're best at finally you are not a tech savvy you don't like to work on laptop so if you don't like to work on laptop there is no scope of becoming a data analyst because i've seen so many people who don't like using laptop they are just on phone and they are just working in the market and they are outside so if that's you you should not think about data analytics roles because these are completely different roles uh, here you have to sit and you have to think and you have to you know brainstorm and provide all those kind of analysis all right so this is one of the aspect you can consider all these yeses and all these noes so if you feel these are the things that you are fit in then you should not aim for data analytics roles but if you feel these are all are check marks right all these are tick for you then you should consider right all right so as i discussed about yes and no if your answer to should you make a shift is yes if you say yes i can make a shift then you should do the following things first is define the objective and the deadline so that you don't waste your time first of all from today onwards define your objective objectives like these are the things that i have to do these are the timelines and you have to follow them second is decide which language or tool you have to start with you can start with excel or power bi or sql clicksense or you can work on let's say python or r so it depends on you or you can uh, take a guidance you will get to know what to start with right start collecting collecting the resources to study right go for free resources it is very important not to waste money to start with for example you are starting right now and you waste money or you spend money in various courses but after some time you realize that this is not how i wanted to work or maybe these are the things which doesn't interest you right so instead go for free resources just explore just understand what are the things that are required and then once you get hands on experience you have some basic knowledge then go for paid projects or let's say go for internships instead that will really help you to boost your resume plus it will give you experience how the projects goes right so go for all these things then you know check for openings in your existing company and see if there are requirements plus for example if you are working in nestle check for the openings in uh, analytics uh, domain sales analytics roles or mis roles so that will help you to understand what are the things that they particular person work on what are the important tools that the company is working on and their requirements so as per that requirement you can work on and uh, you can make your profile as per that particular requirement right getting a men mentor so getting a mentor is very important in the early phase so you are starting your career let's say you want to go in data analytics role but what to start with you don't know any knowledge you maybe let's start with the power bi but after some time you realize that power bi is not important for me maybe some other tool i i should have started with so you are wasting your time instead instead that get a mentor take guidance from him or her and then you start your career and focus on learning important things and build a logic ultimately it is logic that you are building and project that you are making that will boost your resume and chances of selection while uh, giving the interviews all right so uh, guys if you have any issue or problem related to data analytics and if you want to move into data analytics roles and you want some guidance you can comment below or you can connect directly with me on the email id i will help you i can give you one on one mentorship and that will be free of course for the first time so you don't have to pay anything also if you are new to this channel please subscribe and uh, share across with the friends who can uh, who really want to switch uh, to data analytics role thanks a lot for watching this video thank you guys